I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your love from your right. G'day guys, Tiny here from Off Tap Brewing. I spoke to you guys in my last video about um, some brew footage or some uh, build and brew footage from a guy that who has, he's been, um, you know, asking me questions and stuff like that. How does he do this? How does he do that? Um, the story behind it was he was going to buy a Brownmeister. He didn't care. He's an electrician, works on site, so doesn't have that much time for brewing or mucking around. Um, you know, he comes back to town, wants to spend time with his family, perfectly understandable. Basically, the idea for the Brownmeister went to shit. And there's a story behind that, and he'll have a laugh. It went to shit. The money went to shit for him. So, um... Uh, I think the story he told me was the septic tank blew and he needed to spend all his money on the septic tank, which is fair enough, so I went to shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, he sent me some footage of the built rig and him brewing on it, and this is a guy, um, he likes to call himself the Malt Vault Brewery, uh, which is his brewery name, obviously, and this is runnings of his first brew day, all grain. So he stepped up, built a rig, and brewed. I think he brewed two brews on the first day, um, a wheat beer and an ale or something like that. From memory, I watched the footage two days ago, but um, I've got it loaded up here. I didn't have to edit a single thing, I just put it together um, in its timeline. And I'm going to shoot this intro right now, put it in, and swap you over to the Malt Vault Brewery. Cheers, guys. Hey, Tiny, how you going, mate? Well, here's the rig. All complete, pretty much. A few minor things I have to adjust. But that's it there. Sitting on the stand. There's the control box that I've knocked up. Still got a few adjustments, but basically, we've got the circ pump and then element one, element two. Um, the PID controller basically ramps the elements up and down as well via the solid state relays, so you'll see these lights come on and switch as they uh, limit the power. You see there's a front view. Unbelievable the flow that that little pump puts out, that's just crazy. Basically there's a bit of a barge arm I guess you call it, just knocked up a bit of stain I Acquired. Yeah. Ready to uh, start mashing. Well, here's one problem that I didn't really understand until I got the pot was the dimensions were slightly out from what they said on the net. So I actually had to cut the bottom of this pot and cut a strip of about 40 mil off and get me next door neighbor to weld it on and then I punched a shite load of holes in the bottom he welded some legs on for me which he's done a pretty good job and that's basically what the bag sits in and then that sits in here it's just heating up now getting ready to mash in for the second time that's about it. It's got a PT100 here. Basically plugs into the side of the box as well. Standard. And yeah, easy peasy. Okay, so there's about 10 kilos of grain, maybe a little bit more, uh, in 60 litres of water. So full full volume, um, and that's about the limit, I reckon. I've had to uh, choke back the pump a little bit just to stop it from almost overflowing the center pot going to the outside. So I don't know, maybe a few more holes down the bottom bottom sides might help just get a bit more water through. But um, oh, I think it'll be all right. It's maintaining the temperature pretty well. 
but yeah, I think next time I just won't do a full volume, I'll just back it off to maybe 50 litres, you know, and then add some post boil. But yeah, it's going pretty good. Alright, oh, no. <clears throat> so the electrical on this, uh, pretty much as I explained before, um, just the pump, which is that bad boy there. And then element one and element two. Um, it actually runs on two phase, so because I got three phase up in the shed here, so one on each phase, uh, one for each element. Um, basically, each element is through the side of the pot there with a plastic junction box. Um, I would have gone steel, but I'm just really impatient, so I went plastic. It's all pretty good. You can basically touch anywhere around here. Uh, heat rated silicon. Um, the only thing if you were going to go down this path I would recommend strongly doing is what I've done and that's a uh, six mil earth on each element and what I've actually done is soldered it to the brass lock nut. Um, you can't really see it because of the silicon there. So basically you've got continuity of earth from your pot. Um, also you know earth the J boxes. Basically yeah, you don't really want to muck around with this stuff. You want the RCD to work if you ever have an element fault. Um, so yeah, there's the other earth. A second earth to another lock nut as well. That runs on the other phase. Um, so yeah, it's all pretty sweet. So the PID controller, I've actually, what I've actually also done is put a fan in this end of the junction box. And then that exhaust set there back here with the heap of holes um, and that's just to keep the solid state relays cool there's two of them obviously one for each element and you can see them firing here so the beauty about this PID controller is you can actually you can actually set um, what power you actually want these to fire so basically if you want them at 50% you can actually set it at 50% and what it will do is turn them on for one second and then off for another second. So, um, yeah, it's pretty handy. So for boiling, you can actually set it for, say, 75%. And it'll actually, uh, obviously, what, keep them 75%. So you keep them on for, say, one second and then off for 0.25 of a second sort of thing. So it'll just keep firing them all day to keep it at whatever power level you sort of determine you want. Um... Yeah, that's about it. Righto, pal. Well, now that I've taken five litres out, because uh, 60 was just a bit too much. Um, the five litres out, it's going awesome, pretty much. Pumps just circulating through, so... Yeah, it seems to be maintaining a pretty good flow through the grain bed. The only way it can go out is at the bottom of the inner pot, so... I guess the efficiency is going to be alright, hopefully. And then I'll just dump the 5 litres I took out back in pre boil and we'll see what we end up with. Uh, there's one other thing I forgot to mention about this bad boy. Um, it can actually do uh, like mash profiles, so you can actually set it for, say, you know, 45 degrees for 20 minutes. And then uh, it can ramp up to say 65 degrees for 60 minutes and then you might want to mash out 75 degrees for 10 minutes and yeah you can actually set this bad boy to ramp up to all those steps. The only thing with it is it won't wait for the temperature so say you set it at um, uh, 40 degrees for 10 minutes for instance it'll still be climbing to 40 degrees once once the actual uh, set value hits 40, which is pretty much straight away, um, it, it, it then starts the timer. So even though the temperature hasn't got to 40 degrees, so then that heads to after 10 minutes, you're not quite at 40 degrees, sorry, 45 degrees, and then it heads for the next step, which is 65 degrees. It won't stop and wait for the temperature before it carries on to the next mashing profile. You can actually set time in between, so you can sort of time it and roughly, um, you know, you could, you could say, all right, well, it takes 
15 minutes to get up to that temperature so you can put another because you can do I think 16 profiles in there so you could do a profile in between each to give it a time period to ramp up to that but uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass really but um yeah so I've emailed the supplier and and see if he can get me some more info on how to set it up so that it'll actually wait before it goes to the next next profile for the temperature to come up so yeah that's a pretty handy bit of kit it's uh not quite not quite the uh, Braumeister, a tiny, but um, oh, look, it's not too bad for what, what I want to do. Anyway, that's it. Okay, so here we have a boil. Um, I've just set, this is the output level, so I've just set it for 80%. It's 80% power, so you can see it cutting in and out on the, on the uh, two solid state relays. And that's pretty decent. So that's two uh, 2800 watt elements at 80%. But um, I don't know, like I've got a pretty high gravity, so I might actually just turn that boil down even a little bit more. Um, I might just probably put it down to say 70%. Yep, that's starting to tone down a bit now. And the hops are in. So that's how the level control works on the PID. Well, here it is, tiny. Today's effort. A couple of gold nails and a heft down the bottom. Um, the gold nail gravity ended up, final gravity, ended up about uh, 1050 mate, pretty much spot on. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. I think that worked out to be about 70% efficiency, somewhere around there. So, yeah, all in all, pretty good brew day. A couple of things I probably could have changed, which I might have another crack at. Um, maybe crushing the grain a bit finer would probably help with the efficiency. Or, I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, it didn't look like I was going to get a stuck mash or anything like that, so I probably could go a lot finer on the grain, maybe. Um, also, I mashed out at 66 degrees for about 70 minutes, and then uh, 75 degrees for 10 minutes, so maybe I could change the time zero a bit. Um, yeah, there's a few things I could probably tweak to try and get the efficiency up, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with that anyway. So um, I set it in Beersmith to um, yeah to 70% and pretty much hit all all the numbers. So all in all, pretty good brew day really um, for the first brew. Yeah, so that's that's about it really, mate. Um, thanks thanks to you and and a lot of other YouTube. Um, home brew guys that are putting all their info out there it's it's made it a hell of a lot easier so um, you know I was going to build this massive complex bloody monstrosity but um, kept it pretty simple just following a few of your vids and a few vids from some other people and yeah it worked out really well mate so yeah thanks for all your time and effort mate on your channel and whatnot and if there's any questions for anyone else then yeah direct them to Tiny because he's, he's more than willing to help everyone so yeah. Um, thanks again, mate. Take it easy, bloke. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know you're not from your right.